Good morning, Mary. Pardon me, I'm just straightening up. Good morning, Van Helsing. Thank you for all that you do for me, Van Helsing. <laughs> just straightening up my abode. I feel like I'm having guests over. My house is a mess. <laughs> Who else is there? Good morning, Tim Williams. You follow me and unfollow me every day. You can either stay or you can go. Either way, it's cool with me. Who else is there? Good morning, Daddy. Big Daddy. Good morning, Kim. You joined me again. Good morning, Irish. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning. Is that Laura? Hi, Laura. Good morning, Dippum and Mr. Bowers. Hey, my name's Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Saturday morning. It's about 8.02. Are you from Ireland, Irish? Good morning from Oklahoma. It's so exciting seeing people from all over the place. Anyway, my name's Ken Tracy, uh, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is uh, 8.02 in the morning. I uh, am sitting in my kitchen here in Naperville, sitting. I'm standing, I'm leaning over the counter in my kitchen here. And hey, we got somebody from Ireland. I appreciate that. I have viewers that pop in from all over. And uh, I like to see how far away people are watching me drink coffee. Back to the coffee. I'm sitting here leaning over my kitchen. I'm not sitting, I'm standing. I'm leaning over my counter in my kitchen in Naperville, Illinois. Uh, I have about a half a pot left uh, from the cup pot I made this morning. And if, in case you're wondering, it's the pumpkin spice coffee. I'm going to pour some coffee. I hope wherever you are, uh, you are pouring yourself a cup of coffee. Or if you're in Dublin, you might prefer tea. I don't know. Never been to Dublin. Only been to the airport in Ireland. Pretty country, though. My mother grew up in Scotland. Oh, no. Good morning. I'm here with my co-star, one of my co-stars. This is my super consistent co-star. This is my dog, Holly. And uh, she's with me every day. She gets a little jealous when I talk to the phone. I wonder what she thinks of it. <laughs> What's wrong with data? <laughs> He's talking to his phone again. I better come over and give him some love lest he be confused. He's losing it. He's not getting any younger. Let's give him a couple of licks on his arm and make him tell him we love him. So uh, anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. It's Naperville. It's Naperville. It's Saturday morning and I'm in Naperville, Illinois. It's kind of a cloudy, rainy day outside. I'm kind of looking forward to it. We've had such a beautiful summer here in Naperville. By the way, I better stop talking and have my first sip of coffee. Again, I had some this morning already. I've had about a half pot, but I've been up for about two or three hours. Uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of you. Can you guys see the steam? I don't know if you can. Maybe it's my shirt. Yeah, it's because I got a white shirt on, but look. Look at the steam coming off my cup. It's exciting. Uh, I hope you have a hot cup of coffee. Cheers to us. Mm. Oh, hey, I appreciate the timing. I appreciate that we were sipping together. Hi from Cali. Are you from Minnesota? No, I'm in Naperville, Illinois. Wearing my PJs. <laughs> Thought about putting on a pair of jeans to act like I was fancy. I don't know if jeans would be much uh, more fancy uh, than PJs. And... Uh, <laughs> So here I am, and again, I, uh, uh, this, and this is a show I've been doing for a while, and I started over on another social media platform. Okay, what's your real name, Fling, Flynn? Is it Flynn? Uh, Bruce Willis, what's up? I appreciate being called Bruce Willis. Somebody said I look like Jeffrey Dahmer yesterday. That's kind of weird. I hear Howie Mandel from time to time. I appreciate... Uh, Bruce Willis, because I think Bruce is pretty cool. He's an everyman hero. 
Uh, he doesn't have the build of a Stallone or Schwarzenegger, and he was kind of a regular guy. And, uh, oh, what happened with Lyft? Great question. I took my car. Okay, I don't want to get too far ahead. Let me, hold on, Get remind me, Keith, remind me. I'll tell you in a minute, because I, I have such fun stories. Everything I do, they're, at least they're fun to me. So I got to talk about it. just saw it, a pin video. Tell us more about being a single dad. Sounds like a great story. Just what does that mean? Just saw it, pin video. What's a pin video? Oh, my pin video. Yeah, I pinned it the other day. Again, don't get me too far ahead. I've been doing this show for about three years and change, and it started at a, t- a time when I was struggling in life and feeling horrible and had a bunch of negative thoughts going through my mind. And I realized talking about my stuff made me feel better, and I started doing it on another platform live for some reason. And people started watching and started enjoying it, and it made me feel good and uh, apparently made other people feel good, or they were laughing at me. I don't know. Either way, I did it, and I kept doing it. And here I am three and a half years later. I uh, discovered TikTok uh, a few months back, have been able to go live on TikTok for about a uh, two months almost now, and I'm just enjoying the heck out of it. I like talking. I like sharing experiences. I think I have a lot of experiences with which to share that, uh, wait, wait, is he's actually a pleasure to work with. I don't know who says that, but, uh, I don't know who said that, but I appreciate somebody saying I'm a pleasure to work with. I don't know if you're actually talking about me, but anyway, um, I enjoy talking and I was thinking about it as I was getting ready. When I say getting ready, I'm going to the bathroom before I went live on my show. And I was going, wow, I don't really have anything to talk about. <laughs> What am I going to do? I've been telling everyone I got this live show on TikTok. Do you remember blowing bubbles? Sure, I remember blowing bubbles. I mean, I blew bubbles. I popped bubbles a week ago. Uh, I blow bubbles. I think bubbles are so fun. (laughs) They're cheap and they're fun. Uh, But anyway, I was sitting there going, crap, what am I going to talk about? I got nothing to talk about. My mind's kind of quiet. I've been up for two and a half hours. Uh... This show I try and make somewhat inspirational. I don't try and make it. It just seems, Holly, go lay down, Holly. Sometimes I have to take her out back because otherwise I'm kind of, you go lay down. Go lay down or I will let you out back. I might have to take her out back. Uh, Oh, I get you. That was funny. Um, Let's see. Where was I? So anyway, uh, and I enjoy the heck out of this. And I was thinking about it as I was getting ready Uh, I think the reason I enjoy this, I just walked my dog Holly a little bit ago. Thank you for sending me likes. Thank you for joining, Christina. Thank you for all the likes. I appreciate it. I was walking my dog Holly, and as I'm walking along, I am almost having a full conversation with her, as if she uh, knows what I'm saying. And I'm even using some fancy words. How much were you drinking before I stopped? You're jumping ahead. I'm in in Illinois. How much was I drinking? I was probably having eight beers a day on average, I bet. Heineken's. Uh, I appreciate that because you must be watching my videos or watched my live shows before. And Lyft. Thank you, Keith. We're still there. All right. Well, I'll get to Lyft because Keith's been patient. First of all, I believe in habits. And one of the habits I'm incorporating in my daily life is drinking more water. Uh, I'm 54 years old. I was sore and achy and hurting. Uh, and I saw a video somewhere saying, drink more water. So I'm on like day five of chugging a whole lot of water. And it uh, feels good doing something good for myself. Keith, you've been patient, so I'll get back to lip. Uh, there's a series of steps you got to do to, to uh, I was looking, I'm a realtor. I've been selling homes for 17 years. I do fairly well. It's been a slow last couple months for me. Uh, obviously I would enjoy more money, but I'd also enjoy more purpose and just being busy in life. And, uh, so I looked into joining or becoming a driver for Lyft. There's a series of steps and things you got to send in. One of which is, uh, uh, automobile inspection. 
and I had my appointment to get my car checked out yesterday. I drive a 2016 Audi A6. It's a beautiful car. It drives perfectly. Uh, you know, I don't, it's not a perfect car. I'm sure there's issues, but either way, I had to go get it inspected and uh, took it in there yesterday. The guy went out and gave it a quick walk around and he came back in and said, hey, you know, there's a chunk of rubber missing from your tire. And I go, really? And uh, I don't know, he went out and showed me and apparently there's a piece of rubber, I don't know, like that big missing from the side of my tire. I must have hit a curb when I parked or something like that. I don't know. And he said, uh, well, the, we'd have to order your tire, but to replace the tire would cost $508. I'm going, well, you know, <laughs> I'm certainly going to have to think about this one. Uh, you know, I could use the money. You know, I'm doing lift not just for fun. You know, I don't want to go backwards $508, and you haven't even opened up the hood yet. How expensive could it be to get my car? My car's running perfectly. It's beautiful. I don't know. So I decided I was not going to spend $508 to replace a tire that's totally fine. Uh, and to pass an inspection, to pass the very first stage of the first part of the inspection. And so I am not currently driving for Lyft. And they hadn't even done anything else. I've had speeding tickets in my life. You know, I don't know. I could have gotten failed for the background check. I didn't want to start investing lots of money. Uh, oh, single dad story. I appreciate it. I mean, that's a, that's a lifetime. That's not just a story. So Keith, does that answer uh, your question? I'm currently not driving for Lyft. If I decide to buy a new tire, I will continue the process. I will continue the inspection, but I'm worried they're going to open the hood and say, Hey, I don't know, <laughs> something, <laughs> something. All right. You know, the rotors are neat rotated and that'll be seven thousand dollars and i'm trying i just want to drive the car and again my car runs perfect so uh single dad story it's really a story you're welcome keith where are you from keith is that keith from uh westmont it's weird because i'm getting names now so it looks different i used to see griddle boys uh for one tire yeah no i thought that was crazy expensive too mary i went to discount tires which is cheaper uh just to check it out and they said one tire would be 308 and I could get four for a thousand bucks and it's an all-wheel drive car no I know I was thinking that a little bit too man or yeah I know I mean now I understand why they do the cheap inspection for 20 bucks because they find things wrong and they say they will fix them uh, and again I'm not bad mouth and lift or even mechanics and I guess I understand why my tire didn't pass, but I just at this point when I'm my car runs perfect, I'm not feel like investing five hundred dollars in one tire, even though I could have got four for a thousand or a discount tire about one for uh, three oh eight. I think he said, but either way, I don't know. I was feeling like I was going backwards. Uh, do Uber no inspection? I uh, long story about that, Keith. Uh, but anyway, there's a reason I wanted to go with Lyft. Um, somebody was asking about single dad story. I don't know if that's a story. It's a life's life. It's my life. This is the single dad story. This is, you know, it's funny. You're supposed to pick a niche on TikTok. And I guess I name it this TikTok coffee with Ken. And if I would have called it single dad story, I bet I'd have a 50 jillion more followers by now. Uh... That's my thought. But uh, because people would come to it and think it's particularly interesting. I'm a single dad. I uh, have been married twice. I'm divorced, got divorced about nine years ago officially from my first wife. Together we have two beautiful girls. One's 13, one's 16. Uh, they live with their mother about 10 miles away. You... Uh, I don't know what that means. My lifts? Uh, yeah, from those single moms. Uh, okay, well, I'm reading. Hold on, I'm getting distracted. Good morning, Joy. Thank you for tuning in. I got to focus in like a laser. So anyway, I got two beautiful girls uh, with my first wife. And uh, they live, I don't know, eight, ten miles away. Hello, Jack Taylor. 
Thank you. Thank you for finding me. I hope you were. I was worried about you. I was feeling guilty, Jack, because I wasn't on Face at B Live. Uh, that's where Jack met me. And uh, I don't know. I decided to do it over here today. So thank you, Jack, for finding me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and I am uh, got married again uh, two, three years ago to a beautiful woman, talented woman, uh, powerful woman, strong woman. Uh, you know, somewhat similar to me in a lot of ways. That's beautiful, Jack. Tell your friends. I still owe you a mug. For those that are around Naperville, Illinois, I give out these mugs to anybody that's local. But Jack, I appreciate it. I hope TikTok appreciates that you are joining this platform just to find my show. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's a something. I hope you don't find cooler. Good morning from Pensacola, John. Uh, I hope you don't find cooler creators or video producers. I think you're going to like TikTok a whole heck of a lot, Jack. Uh, I was skeptical as hell. Hold on, let's have a little more coffee. I always thought it was a place that my daughters did silly little t um, lip syncing and dance moves, and I'd do a couple with them. Uh, but it's growing to a lot more than that, and you can find information about anything. You can find inspiration. You can find spiritual advice, self-help, exercise, fitness, habits speaking of habits i talk i did a video here about lighting that candle believe me when i tell you i got my candle lit i bought that bad boy for 369 from target i don't know, like two or three weeks ago and i've been blazing it uh yeah no i think you're gonna like it a lot jack thank you joy for liking this and thank you all for tuning in I saw a video here yesterday, and it was a guy, I forget his name, Barrett or Jarrett or something. He does, uh, has a huge following, and I watch him. And he was talking about if you're given a presentation to a room, I didn't finish the single dad story, but there is no finish to this single dad story. I'll get back to it. Uh, if you're given a presentation to a bunch of people and there's 50 people in the room listening to you, uh, you're going to think that's a great turnout. So don't get so focused on the number of people watching at any given moment. I got 25 people listening to me talk right now. And I so appreciate you 25 people that are watching, that are sharing your Saturday morning with me. You're sharing your cup of coffee. Uh, hopefully you're finding some sort of value in this. Uh, because I certainly find value in doing this. And again, it... I always feel a little silly doing my videos. I mean, I don't feel that silly. I've been doing it long enough. But again, this morning I was going, what am I going to talk about? My mind's kind of quiet. Which brings me back to walking my dog. <laughs> and I'm walking Holly and I'm having full conversations. And like two days ago, I'm walking through Super Target. Uh, great positive. Uh, I don't. Um, anyway, I'm walking through uh, Super Target. And I don't. I have my son Augie with me. He's in the front, and he's turning around. Or he's not in the front. He's in one of those whatever little sit things on my cart. Love cruising through Target with Augie. He's such a great little partner. Uh, uh, I have learned as a content creator not to get hung up on numbers. Focus on why you started it. Yeah. Um, Anyway, he was in the thing, and he was turning around. He was seat buckled into the cart. And thank you for finding my page. Oh, my gosh. Yes, they are. Uh, and that's a whole interesting story. My son, Augie, who I've talked about before, and I don't bring it up. I'm, it's not my cause or anything like that. But my son, Augie, is 15, almost 16 months old, now has Down syndrome. And he is the beautiful, most beautiful little angel bundle of love in the world. And it's interesting. I wrote probably my favorite. I, I write a lot. Not a lot. But when I have emotions or feelings, I tend to write. And some of them come out really beautiful. I almost am crying and getting the chills just talking about it. Uh, best restaurant in Naperville. Hold on. I'm in a chill mode. Depends what you're looking for. Uh, for burgers, I'll say uh, Jackson Avenue Pub. Um, and again, when we found out that he might have Down syndrome uh, and he was in, still in his mama and I was worried, I was scared, I was frightened. I didn't know if I could be a good dad to a Down syndrome child or what it would mean to my life and his life and what would happen. And uh, 
He's just the biggest little blessing in the world. He is perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. Uh, you know, it's weird, Down syndrome. I wouldn't wish it on somebody or I wouldn't, you know, hope my next child has it, but I wouldn't change my son. He is beautiful and he is perfect and he's warm and loving and sweet and I'm going to get all teary-eyed on you, but he is a little angel and God gave him to me for a reason. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know, my favorite time of the week is Sunday mornings when I, I pick him up. I'm separating, probably divorcing his mother, unfortunately. We were strong, opinionated. We fought all the time. I think we loved each other, but we don't get along at all. Uh, so anyway, we both live in Naperville, and I see Augie as often as I can. Uh, yeah, no, Joe, he's amazing. And my favorite moment of the week is when I pick him up and I take him to church and everyone's looking at him because he's the sweetest little angel. And we go in and there's music playing and there's lights and some smoke and stuff. It's kind of one of these newish, fancyish churches. How old is your wife? You don't mind me asking? No, she is uh, 38 and I'm 54. Um... And he'll sometimes hug me. He'll look around and be curious at the music, but I'll kind of start swaying if I like the music in an offbeat sort of way. And he'll put his head on my shoulder and put his little arms around my shoulders and hug me. It's the sweetest little thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's cute. So that's part of my single dad story. We have a child on the way. We have another one due in a month. Uh, uh, I bet he loves it. Yeah, no, I think it probably is. He's an angel. Oh, back to Target. I'm walking through Super Target. He's in the car. He's turning around. I don't even realize it, but I'm having a full conversation with him. He's 15 months. He can't speak. He's starting to say, dad, 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 which is cute. I love that he says dada before mama. <laughs> I hope he says mama soon. Uh... But anyway, and I'm having a full conversation with my son as we're rolling around. And uh, suddenly I hear, hey, Ken. And it's my ex-wife, Nicole. We get along fine, but she happened to be in the Target and she's heard me talking to him. I must have a very recognizable voice because uh, so often I have a lot of people that watch these in and around Naperville where I live. Uh, so often I'll walk into a store or walk into Starbucks or somebody will come up to me and go, Hey, I heard your voice. I recognized your voice. I don't know what that means. <laughs> means I got a recognizable voice. My water, I don't use coasters very much. My water's, what's that called? Forget what that's called. But anyway, I should use a coaster because it's all over this table. It's an apothecary table. At one time, it was a fancy, expensive table. It was a, there was a whole Friends episode about this table. Voiceover was an option. Yeah, you're right, Laura. I don't know. I'm hoping somebody... Condensation. Thank you, Jack. Very recognizable. I remember you said Scott Huber recognized your voice. Yeah, he did. Scott Huber. That's so funny you remember that. I uh, appreciate the help. Yes, it's condensation. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for following. My goal is to do this show 8 o'clock in the morning every morning. Uh, Sundays, I'm, I hate to say I'm stressed about because I pick up my son at about 8.30. And I don't know how I'm going to do an 8 o'clock Sunday show. I thought about not doing one. I thought about starting it early. I thought about uh, doing a short one. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to do lives at 8 o'clock. I'm going to download them. I'm going to share them to two platforms, social media platforms. I'd like to do this. I would like, I believe in chasing your dreams. And I'm a realtor. I've been doing it 17 years. I'm a good realtor. I do fairly well. Uh, but again, I need to play Santa this year. Did you bump it back to eight? Yes. It's at eight o'clock now, Jack. I just decided to make the move. I didn't really understand why it was at 8.15. Uh, it just kind of happened that way for a long time. So we're moving it to eight. We're moving it to this platform. I'd like it to grow. I would, again, Jack, I appreciate you following me over here to TikTok. I hope the powers that be that are watching my video and making sure I don't say anything bad. appreciate that I'm bringing an audience from another platform over to TikTok. 
And I'd like to continue to grow that audience, and I'd like to do this professionally somehow, some way. You want a home? Do you live in the area? Do you live in Naperville? I have to play. Uh, we all want homes. Homes are tough to find these days. I saw an article in the paper, uh, not in the paper, in CNBC. Let's have a little more coffee. Dallas. The housing market, I think, in Dallas is slower than it is in the Midwest right now. I think it was hotter for a while. I believe on the, like, uh, the coasts and in Texas, it was crazy hot. And now there's a big influx in inventory. Uh, has the real estate interest rate now? I don't think it's interest rates. I've only been working with sellers the last almost two years. And it's not by choice. It's just prices have been going up so quickly. Quicker than my buyers can afford to move their bids up. I don't know who's paying these, doing these things for real estate. To buy a home over the last year and a half, you'd have to be willing to pay a bit above ask and waive inspections and waive appraisals and waive a bunch of things that I, as just a general tight ass, would be hesitant to do. Uh, I tried to buy a car a year and a half ago. My wife and I were sitting there. The car was forty-five grand. They were it was on the sticker. I was going to bid forty. He started at. 49.9 or something like that. And I'm going, hey, I'm not going to pay above ass. That's not the way things work in the car business. But apparently it was. So we didn't buy that car. And cars continued to go up in price. And people continued to pay above sticker. Same thing happened with homes. I'm with first-time buyers. I usually would have a good idea of where I think a good starting point on a bid would be. Uh, but let's just say we're looking at a, I don't know, $250,000 home in the western suburbs, which are few and far behind to find right now. A couple of years ago, they were fairly common. We'd be walking through a 250 grand home. I'd say, well, we could start at 235 and see what they say. But to get the home, they got to be bidding 270, 280, 290 and waving appraisals and have, you know, it just seems crazy to me. And as a guy who's kind of frugal or believes in negotiating or the market has just been kind of screwed up. I'm going to get comfortable. I'm grabbing a couple pillows. Ugh. I'd encourage you to get comfortable as well. We've already talked about 28 minutes. 28 minutes, how long can I talk? How long do you guys want me to talk? Well, it's interesting, it's different people coming in. I see my audience is growing a little bit. It's up to, I don't know, 30 some odd people, I think, which is kind of fun. Um, what was I saying? Oh, the housing market. So I don't think it's interest rates. I think interest rates are bound to slow it down. I don't think people... Uh, we were looking at a, uh, it's an SUV, it's a, not a key, not the Telluride, but what's the equivalent of the Telluride? I am excited for the storms today, Jack Taylor. I was out uh, this morning, we just got back from my dog walk, we beat the rain back. Well, it's like a Telluride, but it's not, uh, not a Kia, uh, what was it a Kia? Uh, Palisade, thank you, Laura. Beautiful car. I couldn't believe it. I've had really nice cars before in my life. I've driven some fancy, expensive cars, but this one seemed as luxurious as any of them. I think it was a great buy. I wish we would have paid more. I wish we would have paid up because uh, it had a ton of seats. The, it felt like a nice ride. I felt pride driving it. I thought it was a beautiful car. Uh, have I had the, tried the various blends of black Rifle Coffee. No, I do not know. Is Black Rifle the local coffee maker? Uh, I'm not sure what Black Rifle is. I'm drinking, what am I drinking right now? Some Target knockoff brand of pumpkin spice. I'm, somebody asked me what I was drinking, what I used to drink. It was Heineken. I'm using it as a coaster to, uh, yeah, inventory is low. It's, 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 it's broken. You know, if one of you guys called me and said, hey, I'm looking to buy a home in Naperville, you know, it used to be we'd, on Wednesday, you'd look on Zillow or I'd send you homes and you'd pick out six or eight homes that you were interested in and we'd go look at them on Saturday and if one met your needs, we'd put in an offer. Now, if a home pops up that you're interested in, and I don't want to talk too much about real estate unless you guys want to talk about real estate, um, and... Uh, so many people moving here, no inventory. Where's, where are you in? 
I don't know if pumpkin spice is back at, I don't know if I've ever had a pumpkin spice at Starbucks, Jack. As often as I go, I'm kind of a simple man when it comes to my coffee at Starbucks. I, I prefer their dark roast with cream when I'm there. Uh, sometimes when it's hot out, I'll get an iced coffee. I've had a bunch of those this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. The market's, yeah. Uh, um, and occasionally if I'm feeling luck, not lucky, like I sh- want to treat myself, I'll get a, like a venti mocha. Even better, a first taste TikTok would be awesome. That's interesting. That's interesting. Jack, see, I need an idea, man. I have so many people going, oh, you should do a podcast. I go, well, I don't even know how to do a podcast. I'm struggling just doing this. But not only an idea, man, because it's easy to come up with ideas. Uh, But I need help. I think there's something to this. And I, I think there's something to this. I think I'm good at this. I think... I think I make people happy or inspired or bring joy to them. Honestly, I think we all have gifts. Start a, I don't know what kind of channel that means. Thank you, uh, Jeannie. I hope you follow my page. I I do. I think we all have gifts. I think this is mine. And so I'm not trying to brag and apologize in advance, but I think we should learn our gifts. I was always trying to do something that I wasn't that gifted at. Eating food while I talk. Uh, It's a food eating channel. That's interesting. Uh, I do have a channel on that platform. And you could guess the name. I'd appreciate it if you'd follow me there. I'm doing my best to stay in the good graces of TikTok here. I uh, uh, got banned for like a week. And I don't even know why. And I'm trying to, you know, I love doing this on TikTok. And I... I want to continue to do it here. So I'm trying to do my best to stay in the good graces to the powers that be uh, while still being as authentic to myself as I can. We've been talking for 33 minutes. Uh, I could keep talking all day. I hope you guys, I thank you for following me and thank you for sharing part of your Saturday. Uh, Yeah, just violation of community standards. I don't know which one. But anyway... uh, I want to thank you guys so much for following me. And I'm not necessarily signing off. If somebody brings up a good conversation thing, I could flip to it. Thank you for following me. Uh, I could do it, Jack. And again, that was my point. When I'm walking around the grocery store with Augie, we're having a conversation. He's not really contributing to it. Uh, He's not really contributing to it. He's just... wondering what he's doing. No, hey. I don't know if you could see her, Laura, but she's sleeping over there. Uh, yeah, no, I am, Tori, but this one seems the most explosive, again, and is the best at putting, uh, she's now up looking out the door. Her favorite thing to do in the world is chase squirrels. <laughs> it really is. She loves chasing squirrels, and I'm walking around on a leash that you get. You and man get people banned to create business. Yeah, no, I, there's something weird going on with that. That reminds me of Van Helsing, and I appreciate you because uh, you seem to follow my stuff. Um, hi, Chrissy. Thank you for watching. Uh, Day in the Life video. Uh, what was I going to say? What was I saying oh, about chasing squirrels? Oh, I don't know if that was that interesting, but she really loves chasing squirrels. And I'm walking around with a leash on her, and I feel so bad. Squirrels like to taunt her. They do. If I was a squirrel, I think I'd be scared for my life running from a dog. I think they have full confidence that they can get away, and they know dogs can't climb trees. There was a squirrel on a telephone pole that we were walking by. It was like six feet up, and it was sitting there as they saw Holly coming, and it was upside down. I don't know what upside down is. And its tail was going back and forth. And it was taunting my dog, Holly. Felt bad for her. Oh, uh, business on TikTok. Thank you. Uh, Look, she's back. See? She's back. (laughs) She's heard me talk about squirrels. She got excited. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think this this is the best I can do as far as a podcast right now. And I want to... uh, continue to grow it and I want to continue to get better at this and I want to figure out what works what the audience wants what 
it can't just be, and this is, I think this is a life lesson, it can't just be what you guys want. It's got to be what I want too, because that is the motivation, like Joy said earlier, for continuing to uh, do it. Thank you, Alicia. You're interesting. Keep waiting for you to finish stories and you're distracted. So easy. Squirrel. You can always bring me back. Talk about squirrels. I've seen a couple black ones here in Naperville on this platform. Have backup accounts. Yeah, but I don't know what I'd do with a black backup account. And, uh, oh, Van Helsing, you said something a minute ago about the... It reminds me of computers. I now have a Mac, so I don't have to worry about viruses anymore. I think the companies that are virus... that protect you from the virus invent the viruses so they can sell you the prevent the virus software. Reminds me of... You could put that into a real world thing that happened a couple of years ago. I won't talk about it because I don't want to get in trouble, but I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> you look at some companies that are selling a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, I just, I don't trust any, you know, I hate to be a conspiracy theorist, uh, but I just, I don't know. The world's been weird the last few years. Uh, do a conspiracy show, Ken. Oh, no way. No way. I don't. I try to avoid politics. I try to avoid politics at all. Because even if I'll touch on it, I brought up student loan forgiveness the other day. And somebody watching got mad at me and started saying I was being triggered. And I just, I don't care. You think whatever you think. I ran, I got involved a few years ago. They were shutting down the schools. Uh, they were shutting down. The, yeah, no, I don't think you can. They're making jillions of dollars. That is what, what was the show? The Fugitive was about, and that was like, a, that's a great movie, 30 years old, but it was about pharmaceutical companies doing it, bad stuff to sell more drugs. I don't think it's wrong. Yeah, no, I think it's a good idea to stay, stay away from politics almost, period. Uh, but certainly on this platform, uh, just because I don't want to argue. <laughs> ah, you guys do you, you feel you, you do the best that you believe. I'm not going to convince anybody. I don't even want to convince anybody to vote for my candidate. I don't even have a candidate. You know, make your own decisions. Do the best you you can. Try and pick up tips like drinking lots of water. Loving yourself, forgiving yourself. Yeah, it is. And I used to, oh, back to that. I ran for school board here in Naperville, or I tried to. I think God works in magical reasons. Uh, and uh, it was during masking and shutting down schools. And I had a bunch of kids that were in schools that weren't able to go. And it bummed me out. So I wanted to get on there and represent my thoughts. Uh, I went out, got a bunch of signatures, which are required. I filled out this huge thing of paperwork. Uh, a week after the process started and I turned it all in, my application, I didn't get on the ballot because my application uh, got rejected because I, I had moved, I don't know, like a month or two before and I hadn't updated my voter address. So they threw out my application and I'd moved like two months before. And yes, I guess shame on me, but I think it was a gift from God, a blessing from God that I did not, uh, win or get on that ticket or become, uh, well, I was pretty passionate. We did a big rally on keeping the schools open, but not ever in Naperville. We're on the TV. We're on the news. It was kind of fun. Uh, I was the MC. Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know, but I want to thank you guys for watching. I know it's, uh, it's 840 in the morning. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you joining me on a Saturday morning. Uh, I appreciate all the interaction we've had here. Uh, I appreciate you guys following my page, sending me likes, sending me loves, sharing my stuff, telling your friends. If you live in the area, I'd love to get you a mug if I haven't already. Uh, uh, I'd like this to grow. Again, I'm a realtor by trade. It's how I pay my bills. But I think my true gift, I think we should pursue our dreams and our gifts in our lives. And I think there's a jillion realtors out there, but there's only one Coffee with Ken and only one me. And there's only one you. And I'm not saying that out of vanity. There's only one you. Uh, 
What's the plan for the rest of my Saturday? Uh, very little. Very little. I'm going to shower. going to shoot a couple TikToks. I'm going to go to Starbucks, get some work done, and uh, see where the day takes me. If the weather's nice, I'm going to ride my scooter, which I love. Uh, hey, thank you for finding me. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Love me for me. Uh, so, yeah, no, I'm going to take it day by day. Tomorrow I'm going to be with my son, Augie. I pick him up early. I hope you join me tomorrow at 8. I hope the show goes on as planned. Uh, maybe. I hope the show goes on as planned. But, again, I'm supposed to – I like to get to the 9 o'clock service. It's a great way to start your day. I would encourage – and, again, I'm not – I have never read the Bible. I don't care if you're, and I said it the other day, I think habits make the man or make the man a woman or a person. Uh, I'm recently uh, separated, uh, Cindy, uh, or almost a year now I've been separated from my wife. I'm still officially married. Um, Thank you for following me and thank you for, watch my videos. I hope you like them. I hope they provide value. I think that they do. I don't want to get <laughs> talking about another habit, but I find a lot of value in going to church. And it's not because, and it doesn't matter whether you're Christian, Muslim, Jewish, agnostic, or whatever, what your beliefs are. I think if you hang out with people, uh, we do have another baby on the way. Uh, if you hang out with people that are trying to be better and do good things and work on themselves and that smile and look people in the eyes and that shake hands and that are learning to love life and love themselves, you're going to feel better. Uh, So again, it's not for Christianity or Judaism or, you know, Islam or anything or whatever your faith, uh, hang out with good people doing good things and working on themselves and try and get just a little bit better each day. Um, Yes, yes, yes. We were very passionate. We were very passionate. I think God, things happen for a reason. I have a beautiful son for a reason. Uh, on my deathbed, uh, on my, wait, this is news to me, a new baby. Yes, Jack Taylor, she's doing like a month and we're, and we're probably getting divorced and we're totally separated and we're not even trying to reconcile right now. I just don't think we get along in that way. I think it, 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 it endangers our parenting ability because we fight when we're together. Thanks, man. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I think it's not sad at all. Uh, it's not sad at all. Things happen for a reason. This child's going to be a blessing on my deathbed. I am not going to regret having more children. I love being a dad. I love having children. I love my kids with all my heart. And I'm excited to meet this little boy or girl that's coming soon. And uh, Augie already has a few siblings. He's got a bunch Anne-Marie has five, and I've got two, I mean, separate. I got four, I guess. Seven combined. So there's a lot of siblings running around. So Augie's got lots of people to, I don't know, lots of love. He gets lots of love, so don't worry about him. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to hope to continue doing this. Uh, Follow my videos. Follow my page. Follow my story. Uh, Love yourself. Forgive yourself. Uh, Have an awesome, awesome day and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.